if you don't know how to use it, if you just feel like you're using it just to use it and you really don't know and you're just really trying to get a handle on oil paint, don't use it. Nobody talks about that. You don't need to use medium. Welcome to Paint Talk, the weekly show where I answer your questions on oil painting. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments section and I just might answer it on next week's Paint Talk. Before we jump in, I just want to let you know, please, if you like this video, if you like this channel, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow. So do it right now. Hit that like button. I'll be waiting. Now, if you want full real-time painting video tutorials, I have those on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. A new thing that I have on my Patreon page is that anybody who becomes a patron on my Patreon page gets access to my private Facebook group, which has been awesome. My patrons have been posting their paintings, people are commenting on their paintings, giving tips and advice, you know, asking for advice, like I'm working on this painting, like I don't know what's wrong with it, can you help me, like what should I do, you know, I'll be commenting in there i post on there it's just a great positive community to help people trying to get better at oil painting so if you want to be a part of that link to sign up is in the description below all right uh so one of the most common questions i get asked about is on mediums and i haven't made a video uh, specifically on just medium in a while so i thought i would update that and give you everything you need to know about mediums if you are just starting out. I see people ask this all the time on YouTube and it's so crazy because I never thought medium would have been so confusing or such an asked question until I actually got onto YouTube because when I first started oil painting, it was just very basic. They just, get, you know, I went to an art center for a painting class, they just give you some linseed oil and you just start painting. So I'll start there, linseed oil. If you are just starting out with oil painting, I recommend just getting some linseed oil. It is the just base level kind of go-to medium. If you go to you know an art class in college or an art center or something like that, chances are they're just gonna give you some linseed oil or something very close to it. It's a slow drying medium. And I know a lot of people are probably, they hear that and they probably get really like, what, oil paint's already dry slow enough. You know, because a lot of you probably coming from acrylics or watercolors where they dry very, very quickly. And the thought of working paint that dries so slow is probably very scary. But I recommend you to lean into what makes oil paints different. And the main thing is this dry time. If you're just starting out with oil paints and right from the get-go, you're trying to make them behave just like watercolors and acrylics, then what's the point of moving to oils, you know? So like lean into what makes it different. Learn to use that to your advantage. Like it really helps with with blending. It really helps with, you know, mixing colors and moving the paint. The cool thing about oils is that you put the paint on the canvas and then you move it around and you manipulate it. And it's so easy to move and manipulate. And you can do that for a long period of time because of slow dry time. So linseed oil, your your basic what I recommend you know, go to medium. Now, how much do you need to use? Very little. I pour out like a little capful. I keep it right next to my paint thinner and I just dip my brush as I need. A lot of people are like, how do I know when to dip it and that? And you'll, you'll know, and it's not a lot. It's just as you're mixing your paint, if you want your paint to flow differently, if you want to flow, you know, have more flow to it, add a little more of your medium because paint is pigment in oil. So what you're doing is you're just adding a little more oil to change the consistency of it because you'll probably notice that all your colors are different consistencies. Some are thicker, some are more transparent, some move nice and flow nicely, some don't, some are really chunky. And the medium, it just gives you the ability to change the consistency of the paint to what you want. Now, a helpful piece of advice that I give a lot of my students online is that if you don't know how to use it, if you just feel like you're using it just to use it and you really don't know and you're just really trying to get a handle on oil paint, don't use it. Nobody talks about that. You don't need to use medium. I know a lot of famous, amazing master artists that 
don't use any medium. Uh, just use paint thinner if you want, just paint thinner in the paint. And you can get a wide range of thicknesses from just straight paint to paint with a lot of paint thinner in it. And see now paint thinner is, you know, it's going to dry the paint quicker. That's the difference between the paint thinner and the linseed oil you got. It's also gonna kind of take away a little bit of the color. Uh, it dries really quickly. So I use a lot of just straight paint thinner at the beginnings of my painting when I'm kind of blocking it out, drawing it in these initial layers because it dries quickly. And when it dries quickly, I'm gonna be able to layer over top of it. Now, when I am using linseed oil, I'm not using it all the time. I normally start my painting with uh, just paint thinner and then I'll move to linseed oil. And then by the end of the thing, I'm just using just straight paint. Uh, this is called working thin to thick. I've actually made a whole video on that. If you want more information about that, I'll put a link in the description above, but it's, it's really simple. You just got your paint thinner there and you got your linseed oil right next to it and you just use it as you need it. Now I know there's a lot of people that see other artists that have like a special recipe mixture of certain parts, you know, mineral spirits, paint thinner, or the other parts, linseed oil, and they make their, don't worry about that right now. Like it's not wrong doing that. It, it, it's it is a thing and it works and whatever but like just you want to keep things simple here you really want to keep it simple and having to worry about having to mix up some special concoction that everybody like every artist that does that has like a different recipe so don't worry about that just have your paint thinner and your linseed oil and you're good now if you do want a fast drying medium there is this stuff called liquid original and it will dry your paint quicker it will serve the same purpose as linseed oil does. Put it right there next to your paint thinner, use it as you need it. It's just that this is going to dry your paint quicker. Now, uh, linseed oil is not toxic, it doesn't have any toxic fumes, but uh, liquid original does. Uh, so just make sure that you got good ventilation in your studio, that you're kind of moving the air around, bringing in good air, pushing out the bad air, maybe have an air purifier, and you don't need to you know, keep it closed when you don't, uh, aren't using it, pour out just, you know what you need and you should be okay but this will speed up the dry time of your paint if that is what you're looking for if you're at a, that point that you want to do that or you're working this particular way liquid original is like the linseed oil of the fast drying media it's like the most common i've seen for people that want to dry their paint a little quicker now if you've done any kind of research on oil painting and mediums you've definitely have come across the term fat over lean so like what is that do you need to worry about it all right, so fat over lean is the idea that as you move on to more layers of your painting, you're gonna increase the amount of medium that you're using, like the linseed oil, the fat. It's a fatty medium. Now this really only pertains to painting when you are painting over a long period of time and your layers are drying before you paint over them. Honestly, I don't worry about this that much because I never do paintings that take so long that the I, they're different layers that are drying. I personally don't. Like my portraits, I get done in one to two sittings. Uh, I, I always try and keep my paint uh, wet and workable, even if it does take me a few days to paint. Like I never let the painting get 100% fully dry. But I understand that a lot of you can't paint every day and you're gonna be painting the painting it's gonna dry to the touch and then you're gonna wanna paint over it. So what's happening is that even when your paint dries to the touch, it's still drying on the inside. Oil paint can take like up to a year to dry. So when you are layering paint, if you're putting wet paint on top of dry paint, that dry paint isn't fully dry. And so it's still expanding and over time, it could crack the paint that you put over top of it. Now, how do you get it not to do that? Is you make the paint that you put over top of it fatter, meaning you put medium in it. This is gonna make the paint more flexible and make it so it won't crack over time. So say if you're painting a landscape and you're blocking it in and you're using paint thinner and paint, and then you leave the painting alone for like a week or two and it fully dries and you get back to working on it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you mix up some linseed oil into your paint while you're painting so that next layer you put over top of it is flexible enough and it won't crack. Now, if you are just starting out painting, I highly recommend that you do paintings that you can get done in one to two, three sittings max. Doing paintings that you get done before the paint fully dries anyway, because when you work a la prima or while the paint is all wet, the layers all kind of mix together and they all dry at the same time. Like if I'm working on a painting, like all my portraits I do pretty much a la prima and the paint's still wet, even though I'm laying it on. And sometimes I'm using paint thinner in my paint. Sometimes I'm using medium. 
since it's all wet, it's all going to mix together anyway. It's not going to be separated by individual layers because none of it has ever dried. It's not like I'm letting paint dry and then putting more paint on top of it. But getting back to why you should paint paintings that don't take you a lot of time is that the way you're going to get better is to get through a painting from beginning to end as much as possible. So you want to get reps. You want to get reps at starting a painting, working a painting, and completing a painting. If you do a painting that takes you two weeks to do on some big canvas, you're still going to learn stuff, but you're going to be wasting time, in my opinion, because you want to go through that process as much as possible. What I see a lot of times is beginners will get these big canvases, they'll be doing a painting, and they'll have this obligation to make it work because they got this big canvas and like they're doing a painting and it's you know got to be as good as it can be. And so they'll constantly work it and work it and work it, even though it's a painting that you can't really take anywhere but they'll have the obligation to keep painting so they do it and they're cut they're wasting time because they could in the time it took them to paint that one painting they could have painted 10 paintings and learned a whole lot more because every painting you're going to learn something different and a lot of painting is just repeating the same steps over and over so it gets to a point where you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over to a painting so you might as well stop and do a new painting and learn a whole you know different set of skills a whole different set of problems each new painting is going to present you with a whole new set of problems that you have to solve so do studies do small paintings get you know yourself a canvas pad and do you know a bunch of different studies on that canvas pad do paintings that will take you an hour to do get paintings that'll take you you know a day or, or you know a few hours or, or or two days like a few hours at a time you're going to see a lot more results that way because you're going to get a lot more practice and you're also going to develop a healthy relationship with painting you're not going to feel that you need to create a masterpiece every time you're going to be okay with failure you're going to need to fail a lot to get better and if you feel like you need to paint a masterpiece that you can post to instagram and put on the fridge every single time you're not going to want to paint because you're going to be so worried about failing if you're not worried about failing you're going to paint a lot more if you're going to paint a lot more you're going to get a lot better all right i hope all this makes sense you know i really wanted to simplify mediums they don't need to be complicated it's very simple like i said you don't even need medium so how complex and important can it be if there's so many painters that don't use it but if you do have questions leave those questions in the comment section i'll do my best to answer them in the comment section if i can i'll try and make a video on it or you know answer it the best i can in a future video again if you you want full painting video tutorials and access to a private Facebook page where you can post your paintings and, and get comments by me and other people and, and get tips and stuff like that, check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description below. And if you want to see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting. Whoa, you're still here. You made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like it. In that case, you should hit the subscribe button. You'd also probably like this video too, and this video. Please pick one. All right, this is getting awkward.